The question says, in the given circuit diagram, potential difference between points B and A is. Yes, we want potential difference between B and A for the given diagram. Now, when I say potential difference between B and A, that means I want VB minus VA. This is what I'm searching for. Okay. Now, if you look at the diagram carefully, you will find that there are four batteries and there are four resistances. So first thing is first, we need to find the net EMF of the circuit, the net resistance of the circuit, so we can find the current, its magnitude as well as direction. So now please pay attention to this part. Can I say this 4 volt is connected in such a way that it wants the current to flow in the circuit in the anti-clockwise direction. Similarly, the 6 volt also wants the same, the current to flow in the anti-clockwise direction. That means the two cells are in series and sum mode. So E1 and E2 will get added as 10 volt. I hope this part is clear to you. Now similarly over here if you check, the 2 volt over here wants the current to flow in the clockwise direction. Whereas the 5 volt also wants the current to flow in the clockwise direction. That means 2 and 5 are in sum mode. Now that means 2 and 5 will get added as 7 volt. Now please remember this was 10 volt wants the current to flow in the anti-clockwise direction and this is 7 volt wants the current to flow in the clockwise direction. Definitely 10 and 7 may say 10 jig jayega. And so the E net is going to be 10 minus 7 3 volt and current is going to be in the anti-clockwise direction. I hope this is clear to you, everyone of you. So current I can draw anti-clockwise direction. The same current will flow through the entire circuit and it is going to flow in the anti-clockwise direction. So we got the current direction based on the net EMF. Now for all the resistances, definitely they all are in series and for resistance we do not have anything like connected in series by plus minus or minus plus, correct? So we just add all the resistance and we get the R net or R equivalent as 2 plus 4 plus 3 plus 1 or I can write 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 as 10 ohm. So this is the resistance you get. Now to find the magnitude of current, definitely I can use I is equal to E net upon R net, which is going to be 3 by 10, that is 0 0.3 ampere. So this is the current magnitude. Now we got the current ka magnitude as well as the direction. So now comes up how to find the potential difference between point A and B or here we want between B and A. You can apply KVL across any one of the two loops where you can connect an imaginary wire over here between point A and B and you can actually go for this loop like this or this loop like this. Any one of the loop you go for, you get the same answer. Please remember that. You get the same answer. So here I'm going with this loop you can, as I said, you can also go with this loop, okay? So here I'm just naming the loop over here as PQ. So the carrier in which I'm going to apply is going to be A, P, Q, B, A. A, P, Q, B, A. A, P, Q, B, A. This is the loop I'm going for, okay? So now if I go from A to P, I get the 2 ohm resistance and negative to positive terminal as a battery. So I am going in the direction of the resistance. So potential difference will be negative and for the battery I am going from negative to positive terminal. So it will be positive. And please remember whenever you take two points and you apply KVL for it. For the first point you take the potential of that point and for the last point, you take the negative potential of that, which means the entire circuit ka yaha pe potential difference hoga as the starting point minus ending point. So, mera start hoga as VA, the potential at point A. 
Now through the resistance, the current is going in the direction. So negative, negative I into 0 point, sorry, into 2 ohm. Now for the battery, I'm going from negative terminal to positive terminal. So plus 4. From P to Q, there's no, no, no component available. From Q to B, I come across a battery again, which is from negative to positive, I get the positive EMF as plus 6. And for resistance, I'm going in the direction of current. So it is going to be minus IR. So it's going to be minus I into 1. And finally, I reach the point B. As I said, if we start from A, it will be positive VA. And if we end at point B, it is going to be negative VB. So minus VB is equal to 0. So this is the basic way you apply the KVL between two points of any circuit. So now once you get this, can I say VA minus VB will be equal to everything taken on the other side. That means plus IR plus IR that becomes plus 2I plus I as plus 3I plus 4 plus 6 becomes plus 10 on the other side becomes minus 10. Now we already know the value of I as 0 0.3. So 3 into 0 0.3 is going to be 0 0.9. So that is 0 0.9 minus 10 is minus 9.1. But guys, this is not the answer because VA minus VB mil raha hai minus 9.1. Hame chahiye VB minus VA. Matlab isko reverse karoge. Aur tab final answer a jayega VB minus VA as plus 9.1 volt. I hope it is clear to you.